And no great overt display of triumphalism from Mikhail Aloyan. On our card, it's a Tete fight. Aloyan may be taking the last round. I can stretch him, John. I don't think, I, I think it was just the last sort of fight around where no one did enough for me to dominate the round. I think Aloyan had a little flurry, but after the punch, didn't even land there when he had Tete on the ropes. This was a dreadful card. You know, I mean, all, all cards aren't going to be exciting, you know, have exciting knockout slug fest. But in regards to the last two fights, the World Boxing Super Series fights, Andrew uh, Tabidi versus uh, Ruslan uh, uh, Pfeiffer for the Cruiserweights, and now uh, Zelani Tite versus uh, Mikhail Alonian, Alonian. You know, you're not going to always have good fights, but um, um, Alonian should win. He should, I mean, not Aloyan. Tite should go on to be, to get a uh, unanimous uh, decision. And he should move on in the World Boxing Super Series to fight uh, the winner of Jason Maloney and Emmanuel Rodriguez, which is next week, right? No, he fights the, he fights the winner of um, Ryan Burnett versus Nonito Donaire of all fights where Donaire hasn't been at 118 pounds in over six years, correct? Here is the uh, bracket for this side. And then you have uh, um, Inouye over there. He's going to fight the winner of uh, next week's fight, Emmanuel Rodriguez versus uh, Jason Maloney. Remember, I cover all fights here. That's, what, are they, what are they doing? I cover all World Boxing Super Series fights. They're tallying up the scores. Kovac in there, the WBO main man in this part of the world. And I think Aloyan pretty much knows as well. Well, I think, I think they're both feet frustrated because you know, when you've got two technically good fighters, they don't usually miss as, many, as much as they did tonight. So they both feel really frustrated that they missed with so many shots. And, and that, I, I mean, it, it was a sweet... They'd be disappointed for that. And, and, Again, it was a sweet science -y type, you know, fight. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to uh, Emmanuel uh, Rodriguez versus uh, Jason Maloney, which is going to be next week. Oh, I'm watching all of these fights on the zone. Like I said, I said, I'm going to say it again. A lot of people have been giving the zone shit, but for hardcore boxing fans, you know, and if you're in the house on a Saturday and you're interested in these fights, then the zone has them for you, you know, in regards to the world uh, boxing super series. And all media, obviously, shouldn't be shitting on them with the um, amount of fights that they're bringing to us that we don't have to go through hell and high water to motherfucking illegally stream. We have got the results. We can go into the ring and find out who's won. Will Zolane Tete still be the champion? Here's Tuka Koitsuna. Yeah, he Ladies won. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Here are the score totals. Zoltan Edyeri and Mike Fitzgerald both had it 114 to 111. Manuel Palomo had it 114 to 110. In favor of your winner by unanimous decision, and still the WBO Bantamweight Champion of the World, and moving on to the World Boxing Super Series semifinals, Zolani, last born, Tete. Right man one, obviously. Let's also hear from at the beginning of November, and the judges' cards pretty much tallied with ours. We had it by four points for Tete. Two of the judges had it by three, 114, 111. The, her, the third had it 114, 110. So Tete is still the champion. That is the happy photograph. And Barry Jones has had enough of talking to me and talking to you. He's made his way up Looking into forward to the this. ring, ready to interview the champion. Barry is now with Solani Tete. Well, here we have the winner. Solani Tete defending his WBO bantamweight title and progressing to the semi-finals of the World Boxing Super Series. How do you feel about your performance tonight, Solani? Uh, it was a good fight. Uh, Oluyen proved that he's one of the best. That's why he went full 12 rounds with me. I give credit to the man. He worked hard. And I believe God gave me the victory today. What do you think was the victory for you today? Would you think it was the jab? So you dominate with the jab? Or do you just think um, the, the footwork was what got you the win? I think the jab is always working for me. Uh, my corner was always telling me that I must also use my legs. 
because my legs are also my defense. So that's what I've been trying to do. But Alain is a clever fighter, and I believe sometime next year he'll become a world champion. So another su successful defense, and you move on another three weeks time in Glasgow in the UK. You got Ryan Bennett versus Nanito Donaire. Who do you fancy the winner for that? I'm looking forward to that fight. I'm wishing running, Ryan Barnett could win. I've always wanted to fight him. Uh, I believe he's going to win in, in, in his next fight, and I will meet him on the semi-final. Fantastic. We look forward to seeing you also probably in Glasgow there, cheering him on. Congratulations on a successful win. And moving on to the semi-finals of the World Boxing Super Series, Zelani Tete. He looked like he reminded me of BG uh, from uh, Cash Money, old Cash Money. It, he said the jab and the footwork was what was absolutely essential and what proved decisive. Let's take again a look at some of the moments of the fight. And in oh, the first bad. round, of course, there was the knockdown, which gave him the early advantage. Touches down, the glove touches the canvas, and yep, that has to count. Aloyan kept on coming, though, with big right hands. That was his shot, leaping in behind the right hand. But the jab of Tete, good. Right hand there, looks as though it was blocked, and the two of them fell to the canvas there. No knockdown there. Aloyan tried his best, and for many people did better, perhaps, than was anticipated. But Tete, in the end, just perhaps knowing a little bit too much, using those long... I mean, uh, uh, Alonian has got a nice uh, amateur resume. He was in the uh, 2016 games. My understanding is he won the silver medal or he won the silver or the bronze medal. I forgot. And he uh, failed the drug test. So even though he's now actually four and one, even, you know, he still held his own in there for the lack of uh, pro experience. So, you know, even though it wasn't, you know, the, the best of fights, I'm not going to take anything away from him. Um, next week. Wait, what's the next fight for the World Boxing Super Series? Let's see. We got this one out of the way. Yeah, next week the twentieth. We're going to be here for Emmanuel Rodriguez versus um uh Jason uh, Maloney. And on that card also is going to be Unier Dorticos versus uh Martu's uh, Master Next. So I'm actually I'm really looking forward to that card. Shit is going to be lit. So expect for me to do a fight week videos probably uh, after the press conference, um, the final press conference for uh, both of these fights. I'm t oh, wait. Oh, no, those are just the results. I'm Tistry Controversy. This is Tistry Controversy Live. Please subscribe.